Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing which you should choose, Surfshark or NordVPN. Now these are probably two of the biggest VPNs out there, and it's not really a surprise that they're actually owned by the same company. Uh, most reviews won't really discuss this, but I want to be transparent with you guys and let you know you're pretty much deciding between two products offered by the same company. Uh, NordVPN was the first one, and Surfshark kind of came later on as more of a budget option. And they even have Atlas VPN as a free option to test out, although I wouldn't really recommend it since there's been some kind of bad security issues this year with that product. And generally, I find that it's kind of an inferior product when compared to Nord and Surfshark. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing an objective comparison between Nord and Surfshark, letting you know the key differences between these two products, so that way you could decide which one to buy. Now, this video is not sponsored by Nord or Surfshark. However, I use affiliate links for pretty much every VPN, and I'll be putting those in the description down below. Usually, those affiliate links get you the best ongoing deal right now. If you don't use those links, sometimes you can mess out on a couple discounts. Accounts. So if you do decide to buy Nord or Surfshark, make sure to use the link in the description down below. All right, guys, let's get into this direct comparison right now. All right, guys, so now let's go ahead and compare some of these core differences between Nord and Surfshark. And probably the first thing you're going to notice between these two different products is the pricing mechanics and how much they cost. Now, both of these VPNs actually offer kind of different bundled offerings, which is kind of surprising since they're kind of owned by the same company, but both of them kind of have their own peripheral products. NordVPN has like a password manager, cloud storage, and kind of cloud encryption application, whereas Surfshark focuses more on some kind of smaller peripheral features like data breach scanner, has an antivirus, which is kind of cool, and it also has a partner product called Incogni, which is a data removal company. I actually really like Incogni, and I really think that gives Surfshark's bundled offering kind of an edge. Incogni is kind of like a separate product altogether. And basically what it does is remove your information from data brokers. I think it's actually one of the most affordable ones out there and actually probably better than something like Delete Me or something like that. And you can see the page here. Um, so this is definitely, I think, a good bundled offering from Surfshark. So they both kind of have different little offerings in terms of the bundled offerings. Um, but if we get like Surfshark's best package for everything included, it's around $120 for 24 months and $100 a year after year for that. NordVPN gives you the complete package for $156 for the first two years. And it doesn't really tell you the price per year after year after that. Last time I checked, it was around $100 per year. I do kind of like Surfshark's more transparent pricing, letting you know exactly what you'll be charged after the first deal ends. But NordVPN is definitely more expensive, and that's one of the big key differentiators. Like I said in the beginning of this video, is NordVPN just a little bit more expensive than Surfshark. One thing about NordVPN though, is it's a little easier to cancel the service. With Surfshark, you have to jump through a couple hoops and make a live chat um, request and kind of talk to someone who cancels your subscription, which is kind of annoying. Whereas NordVPN makes it a little bit easier to just cancel it within the kind of account panel of the website, which is a little more user friendly. Next up, we could talk about the applications and the differences there. Um, well, I would say that NordVPN probably has a little bit more features in some ways. One of the cool things about Nord is it has SOX5 proxy support, which means you can plug it in BitTorrent applications and stuff like that and get really good speeds. I actually really like the Sox5 proxy performance from Nord lately. It used to not be as good, but it's actually pretty good lately and it's one of the ones I do recommend for people if they want to use a Sox5 proxy. If you don't know what a Sox5 proxy is, well it's basically just like a URL and a set of credentials like your login and password from Nord and you'll pretty much just set it up very easily in a BitTorrent application and you don't even have to worry about turning the VPN on. It anonymizes your IP and gives you a good level of anonymity from a basic level. So that's really cool. Surfshark for some reason doesn't have that. I've asked them to implement it and they haven't implemented it yet. A few other differences though from Nord and Surfshark is that NordVPN actually has a open source Linux application which is kind of cool. NordVPN also has like a mesh networking feature, which lets you kind of set up a cool way to remote in home and kind of share your LAN with other people if you want to let the, them kind of connect to um, your network. Um, so that's also kind of interesting. Outside of that though, the main differences are like in the bundled offerings, like I said. Nord offers the password manager and encrypt, encrypted cloud storage, whereas Surfshark offers the antivirus, um, the data broker removal, and kind of a cool email alias feature. Outside of that though, the applications are very similar. I actually think I prefer Surfshark's application lately just because it looks a little bit more newer and updated since it just updated it in the last couple months, but both applications are very user-friendly and work very well. 
Now, in terms of speeds, both VPNs are excellent. They both support around the same number of servers and they have a very similar server network and they might even share server networks. So there really is no difference between speeds and both VPNs perform very well. Some of the fastest VPNs in my tests. Next up in terms of the privacy audit, both these VPNs could have some improvements here, at least in terms of how they collect information on their websites. Mainly what Nord and Surfstrike do is they collect a little bit more information than they should in terms of being a privacy company based on kind of like the user um, traffic on the website. They want to collect things like basic analytics and stuff like that and they use Google Analytics probably to market their products better and make more money, which is okay for them. But for the end consumer looking for the best practices from a VPN, it's not my favorite look. That said, Surfstrike has a little bit of a cleaner reputation overall. NordVPN is security vulnerability a couple of years back, whereas Surfstrike's never really had that instance. Both VPNs could serve um, in some improvements by making everything open source. Um, that said, they do have a good history of making some audits throughout the year to let people know they're not um, having any huge issues or collecting logs. So at least there's that. Finishing up the comparison though, both VPNs work really well for streaming, which means you can unblock various studio restrictions on Netflix, HBO Max, and various other services like that. These are probably some of the best VPNs to do that. And the wide connection of the server network, as well as the flexibility between swapping servers around is probably makes these two VPNs my favorite ones for unblocking geo restrictions. If you want to watch the Japanese version of Netflix or various other regions of Netflix, these ones are the ones to do it. Finally, we could talk about the graphical user interface. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I do prefer Surfshark, but both of these VPNs have excellent interfaces, really good built-in tutorials, and they're very easy to use, so there's no complaints there. All right, guys, let's finish up the roundup. Surfshark gets our 77 out of 88 on my tier list, and NordVPN gets a 76.25. The main differences between these two products are that Surfshark's a little bit more affordable than NordVPN. NordVPN does have a couple other key features I do like, like the SOX5 proxy, but both product offerings are very similar in that they offer the same amount of quality speeds, good for unblocking due restrictions, and the privacy audit in my section is pretty similar too. Both VPNs are very similar, but it really kind of depends on you. If you need a SOX5 proxy, I would go with NordVPN. However, if you like some of the bundled offerings from Surfshark and you don't need a SOX5 proxy, you're gonna save some money by going with Surfshark. Anyways guys, I hope you found that objective comparison helpful and let me know down in the comments down below which one you ended up choosing and use my links in the description down below to get the best deals you saw in this video.